Hey guys, <clears throat> kind of doing a sort of impromptu video, although I've been kind of planning out what I was going to do with it for a few days now, a couple days anyway. Uh, <clears throat> as some of you may or may not know, although I know a lot of you are not necessarily Italian horror fans, but uh, uh, the horror world lost uh, one of the great composers uh, from uh, Italian horror cinema history in uh, Riz Ortolani just a couple of days ago. And uh, I was thinking about doing some sort of a tribute um, to him and to uh, Italian composers in general. Um, actually, Pete, uh, Mattia the Dead, Mondo Squalito, however you know him, I actually did a rundown of, of some of his favorite Italian composers. Um, and I'm, I'm here to do something somewhat similar, guys. Uh, again, sort of to pay tribute a bit to the late, great Riz Ortolani. Um, so I thought what I'd do is I'd run through a few of my favorite Italian uh, film scores. Um, you know, just, this isn't like a top ten list. It's in no particular order, except for the very last one, guys. Um, which will be my, you know, favorite film score of all time. But I just thought I'd go through basically four uh, pretty important composers uh, of, of, uh, excuse me, of Italian cinema uh, during the heyday in the 70s and 80s and just show a couple of films that they were pretty famous for, essentially. That's how I'm going to do my video. So the first guy I want to talk to uh, is considered one of the great masters, Ennio Morricone. Um, he did an awful lot of uh, spaghetti westerns as well. Um, but two of the scores for films that I really enjoyed quite a bit was his score for the film What Have You Done to Solange. And he was also the man behind the score to The Bird with the Crystal Plumage by Argento. The first film was directed by Massimo Delamano. But anyway, uh, Morricone did some just spectacular uh, film scores, and so I had to include him in this, uh, this little tribute to Italian composers. Like I say, guys, I'm trying to make this fairly brief because, you know, a lot of my videos have been running on a bit lately. I can get chatty, as you guys all know. Uh, the second guy I want to talk about briefly is Fabio Fritzi, who did many Fulci film soundtracks. Also, he did uh, Zombie or Zombie Flesh Eaters, which I... <laughs> embarrassingly don't currently own in my collection, but he also did a fantastic score for City of the Living Dead. So I just wanted to show that real quick, guys. Another guy who did primarily giallo films and did a, uh, just a fantastic number of soundtracks or scores, I guess is a more preferable term. But probably my favorite by Bruno Nicolai was uh, the 1972 Sergio Martino film, Your Vice is a Locked Room and Only I Have the Key. Um, really haunting, really beautiful score on this film. Not one of the best known giallos, but it's very good, and I think it's uh, Bruno Nicolai's best work. Although, like I say, he did some fantastic scores to a lot of... Uh, um, uh, excuse me, for a lot of uh, Giallo uh, films primarily. So another guy to keep your eyes on, guys, Bruno Nicolai. Uh, the next composer is probably my favorite uh, film composer of all time. 
Um, just a ton of my favorite horror films of all time were scored by this man, and he is Claudio Simonetti, um, who actually has a group that he performs with known as Goblin. Uh, but Simonetti was behind the terrific soundtrack to Dawn of the Dead, uh, the George Romero film. Of course, this is a 1978 film. He was also the master mastermind behind uh, Suspiria, which is my favorite Italian horror film. As I mentioned in another video, of course, it's very Argento, but Again, Goblin with Claudio Simonetti did the tremendous score to this film. And then two more uh, landmark Giallo films that uh, Claudio Simonetti and Goblin did just terrific soundtracks to were both uh, Tenebrae and Deep Red, uh, two of, uh, again, two of Argento's most fantastic Giallo films. But again, this isn't so much about Argento, guys. This is about Claudio Simonetti and uh, and Goblin, you know, putting out some landmark uh, film scores. And then that kind of leads me, guys, to where this all got started. As you know, I decided to put this video together as a bit of a tribute to. Riz Ortolani's passing, um, you know. Now, he did uh, the score to many, many other great films, but to me, two of the standouts from his career was he did the score of the Umberto Lenzi uh, fantastic giallo film, uh, Seven Bloodstained Orchids. And then, uh, basically, guys, it leads me to this. This is definitely the film score he's the most famous for. In fact, it's the only film score I actually had to go out and buy the CD for. I'm such a huge fan. Um, so I own that as well, just a separate copy. And of course, that is, to me, my favorite film score of all time. And this is the only one, guys, that really is in any order, and that is of course, the score to Cannibal Holocaust, done by the, the master Riz Ortolani. So, and this film was sort of the inspiration for this whole video, and of course Riz is passing recently. Um, so anyway, guys, I just wanted to do a quick run-through of, you know, just talk briefly about a few of the... Uh, great Italian composers um, during the kind of golden age of Italian cinema. And like I say, you know, pay a special tribute to Riz Ortolani and his recent passing. So that's all I got, guys. Uh, again, thanks an awful lot for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.